Day 16. Wow, I feel bad about that. I wonder how bad Pablo's gonna feel. Pa uh, robbing that old couple was the last straw. I can't do this anymore. What? What? How did we get robbed again? The third night in a row we've been robbed. What the fuck? Ah, oh, jeez. Katya, you're depressed. Bruno is almost dead. Holy shit. So hungry I'd kill for a can of meat. I don't care where and how Pavla got supplies. I'm glad he didn't return empty handed. Say that again. Bruno doesn't give a fuck unless he's eating. Uh, you have nothing. <sighs> we need to make sure we have enough food for everybody. I hope those elderly people have some family to support them. We shouldn't steal from them anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Amelia, how are your... Oh, she's still recovering. Holy shit. Katya, you're gonna be cooking today. Ah, <sighs> right. Dude, Pavla... Oh, goodness. Uh... Wow, it's a lot of components to make fuel, isn't it? Two bits of wood, there you go. Didn't steal much wood, did I? I wish I could help Bruno, he looks so hungry. I had to take those things, those people's family should take care about them. We only have ourselves. Well, we'll give him some food, dude. Just chill out. You're only tired. Well, that's good. If that woman dies, her husband won't survive it. I know, Katya. Just, just make some food and you can go to bed, okay? Ah, <sighs> right. Okie dokie. Okie dokie dokie. Let's make that. Katya's got some food. Hmm. Can I give. Where? The fuck is Bruno? Oh shit, he's down here. How do I give shit to them? Uh. He's very hungry. Can you go get some food then, Bruno? Slowly, buddy, slowly. Katya can go sleep in the dungeon. No, no, actually, can you go get... Whoa, what? It's me again, let's talk. Who the fuck is that? Pablo, go see what the hell this guy wants here. Yeah? No funny business. Uh, Emilia, still, we're still recovering. Alright, Bruno, enjoy that. He's very hungry, he's wounded, and he's sad. A cigarette would make me feel better. He's still hungry, what the fuck? Um, right then. What does this guy want? It's me again. Last time it went quite well, so I thought you might want to help again. I know a rich family stocked them with supplies for the war. Maybe you should pay them a visit. No, the last time I went, I got fuck all. No thanks. Get away from me. <sighs> right, let's make some water. Make it rain. Katya, did you eat? You're depressed and very tired. Alright, go to bed. Everyone's just sleeping all day, man. This is real signs of depression. Hungry, depressed, tired. Go get some food, dude. Maybe that'll cheer you up. <sighs> if that woman dies, yeah, it's, been, it's all our fault. That'll do for now. That uh, selfish family our neighbor told us about was asking for it. Maybe we should have gone with him. Hmm. Maybe. And maybe not. The world is full of maybes, isn't it, Pavlo? Um. He's still hungry. God, I really hope he survives. Okay, I think we're done for today. There's not much else we can do, really. Oh no, oops, wrong one. 
I mean, let's go see what we can do. I doubt much. What I can do, however, is uh, make some fuel to put on the fire. Stop thinking about the old man and his wife. Come on, we got, we got stuff to do. Um, not much really, eh? We can make some cigarettes for Bruno. Why don't we do that? We got homegrown tobacco we can do it with, right? There we go, cigarette. We need one tobacco, we got three. Yeah, uh, let's make him some fucking cigarettes, mate. Uh, I hope that makes Bruno feel better. And then we're done for today, I think. <laughs> Can't believe everyone's sleeping, man. Oh, look, he's not depressed anymore. How fantastic. And finally, put some fuel on and we're good to go. Is 14 degrees cold? Not really, right? It's actually quite a decent temperature. There we go. Fire's on. We got water. It's 6 o'clock. End the day. Alright, let's not go and steal from that old couple then, until we really need it. <laughs> we know that there's meds and parts left in there, but I'm not going back. So there's lots of foods, meds, weapons and parts in here. Uh, some doors might still be locked, a crowbar might come in handy. There's other scavengers, let's try the supermarket. Why not, right? Can't just sad and tired. I'm gonna need you to guard again. I'm sorry. Because they're sick and wounded. They're gonna have to sleep. Supermarket it is, Pavler. We're taking a crowbar. And a knife. Just in case things go awry. Let's go. Scavenging. I'm not alone here. <sighs> right, you go take the upstairs and the roof. Are they gonna fucking see me here? Uh, food, do, 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 do. Are they gonna see me? Is he gonna shoot me? Should be enough for both of us, don't worry. Alright, he's gonna let me scavenge? What a fool! If I can kill them... No, 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 that's mine, that's mine. It's mine! Haha! -ha! This is so weird, man. If I kill him, I'll be able to get myself a fucking rifle. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Taking a big risk trying to kill a guy with a rifle, though, you know what I mean? But hey, maybe we need to take those kind of risks at this point. Canned food, brilliant. Vegetables, brilliant. Don't really need the tobacco. Not sure if I really need these parts either. I'm more desperate for like wood and stuff like that. Doors barred up, okay. Jesus Christ, look at the size of this place. Okay, okay. There's so many places to hide and shit. No, it's mine. Stay away from that. God. This is fucking crazy, this... Okay... Nope, don't need that. How far is that stack? Oh, quite a lot, actually. Alright, what's over here? Let's be the first over here. This guy keeps following me. Canned food, parts, more gunpowder. Is that gunpowder? Yeah. Oh my god, it's a giant shipping container or something. 
Weapon parts, some water, which I'm not in desperate need of. Hello. You don't want to cause trouble here, trust me. Yeah, I'm not wanting to cause trouble, really. If I can, I might kill that guy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still trying to decide if I should or not. Whew, it's a tough decision. What's this? I faded leaflet with skull and crossbones rings. Danger, do not touch unexploded ammunition. Any weapons, ammunition, or equipment left behind unexploded may be booby trapped. Do not touch anything. Do not risk severe injury or death. What? What nonsense. Okay. What's up there? Um, opponents and wood. There's a lot of stuff in this place. Okay, parts and tobacco, don't need that stuff. More parts. Let's quickly open this so that we have another entrance. And then I'll check the roof. Why are they running? Is something happening? Why is everyone running? Are there other people coming or something? Wow, that stack's so high. Okay. Uh, maybe they just left. So I can't kill them. Oh, what the fuck is that? I shut the door in her face. Okay, that was really weird. Well, I think we're done here. They were just fucking leaving the place. How do I get down here? Oh, I see. Okay, here we go. <sighs> so I got a lot of crap, to be honest. Oh, I got a lot of canned food and some more food. Brilliant. Uh, what nonsense do I have that I can throw away? Alright, what's in here? <laughs> more tobacco, brilliant, and some more weapon parts. We're just filling up on shit, aren't we? So actually, down here is a good place to kill them, if I was gonna kill them at any point. 2.20am bandages, what's this? Med ingredients? Uh, maybe I'll just put back this wood, take the bandages. Alright, it's 2.20am, I think we're done here. We don't want to get caught out. I think that was pretty good scavenging. They let me take a lot of stuff. We got a lot of canned food, which is quite good. It's, I just hope we're, we're not going to get raided again. It's my only fucking worry about it, isn't it? Alright, 